Good afternoon, everybody. Crypto Strang here. This afternoon, we're going to talk about IX Swap, relatively new decks on the market. Different from many other decks is obviously the market is massive with amount of decks is out there. Literally, over the last year or so, we've seen a huge amount created. But if we go through the IX Swap decks, you can see what they're actually planning, how it stands out from the rest. You know, there's no guarantee with any project. You look at the token here, IX Swap, IXS is their actual token, up 29% today. And we're in like a bearish type market scenario at the moment. With everything's very stagnant. It's great to see a project jump up. So I say it's just under 39 cents. We actually have, we had 86 cents last September. This is all time high. But that was literally when it was got launched. So you can, at the moment, the supply is roughly about 25% of the supplies out there. So... As we go through the project, we'll go through exactly why I believe this has got a lot of potential. Certainly keep on your radar. We we'll talk about tokenomics, the roadmap as usual, etc. So, go on here. World's first DeFi, AMM, Automated Market Maker and Liquidity Pools for Security Tokens and Tokenized Stocks. Now, STOs, quite controversial. Um, much better than ICOs. Um, if you want to compare basing STO to an ICO, the STO requires a company to do a lot of compliance work in advance, while basically anyone can establish and participate in ICO. Anyone, that's why we had a lot of scams in the ICO. So security tokens, to me, are much better than ICO. Obviously, they have to be fully compliant companies and accredited to or at least known investors can sell and buy security tokens. Okay, so that's the difference with an STO. So I say an STO is like a type of public offering in which tokenized digital securities no security tokens are sold in the exchanges. Tokens can be used to trade real financial assets such as quiddities and fixed income and use a blockchain virtual ledger system to store and validate the token transactions. Okay, now, That's what stands out with STOs. So when you scroll through the IX swap solution, first security token for liquidity pools. Okay, token holders will be able to legally mine liquidity for the first time ever. The platform, first DeFi market making solution purpose built for STO and tokenized stocks. Okay, that's what I say about IX Swap being different from many other DEXs. Many others pretty much follow the same path, don't they? But this one seems to be have many areas to their platform. Borrowing and lending. Take advantage of your idle assets to earn passive income. Licensed partners. IX Swap has forced partnerships with Licensed intermediaries to deal with the nuances of securities, the low fees, significantly reduced fees compared to obviously what you get in a bank, like one two percent charge, unlock the value of your idle STOs. Now, liquidity pools, obviously, I'm talking about the licensed broker and deals, and everything about the liquidity pool and what it does. Obviously, it creates you know for the IXS token as well. It makes it obviously a genuine use case now. Obviously, the IXS token we talk about. Not many exchanges yet, I say it's a very new project. However, it's on one of the best, as we talk about many times, KU Coin and MEXC. It's also on QuickSwap and Uniswap, so I'm sure they'll be listing on more exchanges soon. So I come across this project, it looks really good. Now, I also like this video. It's two minutes long, I won't play the whole lot, but just this part of the video I thought was really interesting. Users will have access to trading, liquidity mining, staking, borrowing and lending, and more. This DeFi solution will bring on a new wave of liquidity to STO trading, solving the industry's key problems. The liquidity pools for the security tokens work similar to other AMM models. IX Swap allows security token holders to become liquidity providers by depositing their security tokens into liquidity pools and receiving a share of the fees in return. On IX Swap, when security tokens holders request to provide liquidity, the security tokens interact with IX Swap smart contracts and are held with a third party custodian. A wrapper token of the same security token is simultaneously minted, and this wrapper gets added into the liquidity pools. It just gives you a brief view of what it does, but you can see what they're actually planning to do with the STOs to make it so much more easier. Now, the IXWAP token is the native token, obviously, and it acts as an incentive reward for contributing to the ecosystem growth. The swap fees, IXS token holders be able to stake their holdings to receive a share of the swap fees. So you get a portion. It's like a community thing. It makes it completely decentralized as well. But the paired pools, the IXS paired pools, will have boosted returns over non IXS paired pools, you've got the insurance will also be available for IXS paired pools and the payment token itself. Okay, now the backers always look at this when we talk about investors, partnerships, etc. You can see IX swap backers there. Okay, a lot of companies you can see for ready for new project again, as I said earlier, it's great to see so many and look at all the different partners they've got. Huge amounts, obviously, really are making huge strides. You know, it's 
you know, we talked about Umbrella many times. It's great to see him with them as well. But there's many others there as well. And as I say, you don't normally see that many partners for a relatively new project. Now, they've recently, literally this week, updated the IX Swap tokenomics. Okay, so you go through and see it there. IX Swap platforms for both STOs and NFT swap fees generated on the platform are contributed towards both Moon and Solar Vaults. Okay, so this is again where it makes you want to hold the IXS token. Obviously, that's what they want to do to make it genuine usage and actually people to um, hold the IXS long term. It talks about the IXS STO listing requirements, payment two dollars up front, or stake thirty thousand IXS locked for a minimum six months. Now, when you think of the price, something like thirty percent today. It's never financial advice, as you know, but with IXS token, considering what they're doing here and how much will be locked up, long term, again, this project looks very good, especially for these DEXs and what they've got planned, okay? Getting in a DEX early, especially with their token early, can have massive rewards. But again, there's no guarantee, as you all know. But the Solar Vault and the Moon Vault as a deflationary token, again, that's very interesting, it is necessary to reduce the number of IXS tokens in circulation as time passes. We talked about the circulating supply out there, but as this deflation token, less and less and less will become available. To facilitate this, a proportion of the fees collected from each of the IXWAP products will be contributed to the Solar Vault or Moon Vault. A defined fee contribution generated by IXWAP platform services will be sent to the Solar Vault and permanently locked up or burned to permanently remove a portion of IXS tokens from the available supply. That is absolutely huge. Meanwhile, a proportion of the total fees accumulated on the IX swap platform will be sent to the Moon Vault and utilized to buy back IXS tokens on the open market. So you see how much the IX swap token will get less and less. With their development, you can see how this again has massive potential. Now, I did a monthly update, it was released this week. Again, they're talking about different the development team, creation, import of NFTs. We're almost ready to release the initial and base functionality of our NFT platform to give our users the ability to create their own NFTs on IXSwap and impact their existing collections. This is the first step on our roadmap in building our NFT infrastructure with fractionalization and market and buyout functions. SEC tokens, catalogs and listing, risk mitigation script. But something I read up about, when you're scrolling through here, all the different parts, I was just absolutely amazed. I was reading through all the different parts, the marketing team, the community team, the economic team. It's, it's a massive team, it truly is. So when you show the team on here, again, it's a huge team. Genuine people you can check their profiles. It is a massive team. So you really see how they are going to constantly develop, which is great to see. If you only see a couple of people in the team, it does make you quite suspicious you know, suspicious of how they're going to keep developing unless you've got a real solid team behind it. So that was interesting to read as well. Um, the roadmap, we always talk about, massive roadmap for this year, the first quarter, staking contracts update, the NFT primary, we'll talk about the NFTs in a minute, but you can scroll, of also what I like, the fact you've got the second quarter and the third quarter here, all the different plans doing the TSO swaps in the third quarter is massive alone, but the fourth quarter, end of this year, STO borrowing and lending, borrowing and lending for security tokens, Basically put here, this has been pushed back to ensure sufficient data collection, testing has been done in the instant market as a bulk of the exploits on blockchain, now are due to loans. Project Hera, that's something that you can't really find much about at the moment, but again, that's the fourth quarter. And again, Project Skylab. So you can see in the fourth quarter, we've got even more massive things coming out. So they're going to have, again, talk about quite a few projects on here, but a DEX here at the moment is a real especially the tokens, a real low-cap gem. But what actual IXS Swap would plan to do, certainly with the security tokens, makes it massive long-term. I really am super bullish about this project, but we always talk about NFTs, and they're doing something different. I haven't actually seen this before. Fractionalized NFTs coming soon on IX Swap. Okay, States here are proud to announce that fractionalized NFTs are coming soon on IX Swap. As of October last year, the global NFT market had a trading volume of around 3.6 billion and a market capitalization of 43 billion. Since then, it's gone up even more, isn't it? We spoke before about the crazy prices people are paying for crypto punks. Okay, absolutely. See, the highest one ever was 124,000 ETH. Now, you don't hear so much about crypto punks. Obviously, it's still high value. It's the bored apes, isn't it? People are talking about that and crazy prices. You know, a million dollars for just a bored ape NFT. Crazy. But what I like about this, this is basically. Um, we can hold a part of an NFT. So essentially, NFT tokens are tied to non-fungible digital assets. This concept allows small investors to pull their resources together to purchase some 
interest of an NFT. So just part of it, okay? Fractionalization in NFT is the act of dividing the ownership of NFT into smaller fractions. Now that is really good. I've never sort of kind of thought about that. You know, you had to buy an NFT or you didn't, but now you can do fractionalized NFT. Okay, states here how fractionalized NFTs are created. For fungible tokens, a smart contract is deployed to generate ERC20 tokens that are linked to an indivisible ERC721 NFT. By going in this way, anyone who holds a piece of ERC20 tokens generated owns a fraction of the NFT. So this is something that's coming out. So again, it's more development all the time. So there's certainly one to keep your eye on. As I say, you can see there, currently ranked 931, just under 39 cents. Keep your eye on the token. I say you can buy it on KU Coin or MEXC. The links are below if you want to get it entirely up to you. Just keep your eye on this one. I certainly will. I think it's got massive potential long term. We go through it, do an update video next two, three months or so. Because I really am super bullish on this project. And it's so lowly ranked because it's a relatively new project. We could have a real gem here. So thanks very much. We'll chat again soon. Anyway, help as usual. Email me, infocryptostrand.com, all my social media links below. Be great to hear from you. Thanks very much. Have a wonderful evening. Cheers now. Bye.